Hey, what's good everybody? Rose Shocker 22 is here and 2K released some info about their season plan. So we're gonna learn about what comes in each plan, how much the plan is, and we'll discuss if it's worth it for you to get into the plans or not. But before we get into all of that, if you can do me a solid and like this video and also subscribe to the channel, that will be much, much appreciated. And follow me on Insta. We're doing an Insta giveaway of NBA 2K24. Look for the link post and we'll put the link in the description below. And yo, stop wasting time. Let's hop on into this. All right, as you can see here, NBA 2K has um, put out a season pass explainer going over everything that comes into the season pass. And as you can see, there's three different plans that are available right now. You have your free plan, you have your pro plan, and you have your hall of fame plan. Now the free plan is kind of just like last year. You can go through the plan. You don't have to pay anything extra. You'll get 40 rewards for my career and my team. Now, what's unique about this and what's different for this year is the fact that you can gain um, levels. You can earn levels in both my team and my career together. So if you play a little bit of my team, you play a little bit of my career, you're going to gain experience in both game modes. That's just going to add up to one. So, um, so I think that's really, really cool for those who grind both games. You can gain something from both. Now, when it comes to the plans, as you can see again, you get 40 my career, 40 my teams for free. If you go into the pro, which is $10 per season, all right, that's the big word, per season, you can get 40 my career, 40 my team items, and you get a premium 40. So you get 120 items total of level up rewards. If you do the Hall of Fame, it is the exact same thing as pro. You get 120 items for leveling up. Now, the difference between Hall of Fame and pro is with the pro, you get four total season pass reward items that you get acquired immediately. But with Hall of Fame, you get five plus you get a 15% XP boost. And if you get the Hall of Fame, you would already skip the first 10 levels so you will be already trying to get to level 11. Now there is also something that's added below. Season pass will be accompanied by two additional options. You can have the pass upgrade, which allows players who purchase the pro pass to upgrade to the hall of fame pass. 10 levels skip will be consumed immediately after the purchase and progress the player 10 levels beyond the level that they were, that they were at when the purchase is made. You can also do a level skip at $2. So let's just say if you're at level 38 and you have 10 hours left to get to level 40. Well, if you think you're not gonna be able to make it and you really want those level 40 rewards, you can um, buy your way up to level 40 and be done with it. So questions that you may have is one, is it on available for every console? Yes, it will be um, available for every console, every game mode. Um, you will be able to buy the pass and be able to earn additional rewards to your um, your player or your my team. Now, you know, you might look at it as like, yo, is this for me? If you are someone that, you know, enjoyed last year where you just want to just grind the game out and or maybe you can't really afford it, then, yeah, you can still get the rewards for free. You don't have to pay anything extra. You will still go along a season pass. Now, there are some people out there that, yo, they want everything they can get. And me being a content creator, I'm definitely going to be getting a Hall of Fame pass um, because, for one, I like to show content for you guys. For two, I am whenever I jump into a game, you know, I go heavy in it, and that's going to be something where, hey, we're going to go ahead and go heavy in it, and we're going to go crazy with it. Now, one thing I am interested in is what are the season rewards going to look like? I don't know if there's going to be um, any talk about it uh, right before launch. If we get to see like that first season, I don't know if it's going to be like the week before. But that's the thing. That's what's going to really get people excited, really get people wanting to possibly buy the pass is if the rewards are fire, then yo, take my money. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the new season pass. 
Is it a dub? Is it an L? Or maybe you want to take some time and see how the rewards are going to look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you with more news later. Peace.